Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Vigo Man here, and welcome back to Kirkholm once again. How are you guys doing today? I do hope that you're feeling fantastic. I know I am. I'm feeling fantastic as usual. How can you not feel fantastic when you're playing Minecraft? That's a question. That's that's a hard question for you guys, because because when I'm playing Minecraft like like I do right now. I'm always in a great mood. I love this game so very much and I have hours of fun every single day playing here. And right now I'm going to be playing together with you, which I'm looking forward to. I hope you guys are stoked today. As I've promised, we're going to take a look on the cows here. Hey cows, how are you guys doing today? No, we're going to tackle the big church here, which used to be a lot of red wool everywhere. It looked kind of like a big mess. But I've decided to just scrap that whole idea and go more basic, go more down, make a more realistic and smaller church. And I think uh, the proportions of this looks better, because the one I had was like super tall and super super wide and very short and it looked kind of weird and I was not satisfied. So I've been doing a lot of like planning back and forth and how I wanted to do this. And that's why I have delayed it so far, but today... We're going to start building here. I'm, I will not be able to do it in one episode, I'm pretty sure. But at least I will start here. So this is the layout. We're going to have the entrance in the front here. We're going to have a tower, which will not be way too tall. We're going to be like probably the tallest building uh, in the town right here now. And then we're going to have the main hall here. And then back where the, the priest will have his stuff. And then we can have a little bit of like a graveyard around here, kind of. But then we also have space for some houses here, so I think uh, what we could do is to make a road go straight over here, like this as well, along the church side. I think that would be nice. We could go over here like that, and then we'll be able to have some houses on this side as well, uh, to make the, the town of Kirkholm even more populated. Because we're running out of space, kind of. Uh, we have a little, more sp little bit of space here. A little bit along the riverside here. I want to do a lot more stuff along the riverside, like we've done over here with the water mill. It's still one of my favorite buildings around here. It's so beautiful. I want to do a lot more of buildings like that along the side here, and then we're going to continue starting working our way upwards towards the castle, which will be the final thing for Kirkholm, at least. Uh, the main center of Kirkholm. But let's start building this tower here. I want to do a little bit of planning together with you as we go. Uh, I think we're going to start off with a tower here so we get the scale we want to have here, okay? Because uh, I think the tower here will kind of set the standard for the rest of the church. So why don't we just crack on, shall we? Um, I think we're going to kind of figure out what kind of, uh, what kind of blocks we're going to be using here. We're gonna use um, cobblestone at least and then stone bricks. What other blocks have we been using around here? We've been using a little bit of hoo stone. Maybe we could use a little bit of that. Also, guys, please feel free to let me know if the audio is bad in this video or the video quality is bad. Uh, I've been having a lot of problems with the recording software I use for Kirkholm, which is OBS, uh, which is usually a very good and great and also free software for recording videos and also for live streaming it for live streaming it's probably one of the best out there so uh, but I currently have been having a little bit of problems with that how's that for a base and then we go up a little bit kind of go up on the side here I want to use the stone brick as some kind of supports we're gonna go up like this come on out I can hear that my computer is really working now. Uh, that's funny. It usually don't really boost the fans that much, uh, but I've done some changes to. As I've said, I've had some problems with um, with my recording software, so I've done some changes to that so that it will uh, use a little bit more CPU power, so the quality is good. Uh, how is that? I think that might be good actually. And I'm gonna have another one here, so it's kind of going up here like that. Uh, I just want to kind of separate it into parts, so we can have this as one part Going along the sides of this And this one as well, you go up here And then you go up here like this And then like that Yeah, I think I think that's good. That's a good size for 
the beginning of the church here. Maybe we'll remove this and do a little bit more uh, cool stuff going on here. And then we're gonna fill this in with cobblestone, I think. So you have the base of whose stone and then a little bit more cobblestone, lighter stone on the top here. Of course, all of this will be randomized with other blocks and stuff. Why not just fill the whole walls in here? I think that will be better once we go into the interior parts of this. Let's fill in all the walls here. Also guys, I just want to thank every single one of you who are tagging me in pictures and stuff on Twitter. Uh, some of you guys are sharing your builds with me and I really do appreciate that for several reasons. One of them is that you guys, you give me a lot of inspiration when you do that. Because some of you are amazing builders. Um, yeah, I would like to point out some of them like Pirate Lord. Uh, he, he's a cool dude. He's been tagging me or been uh, making some really, really, really cool buildings lately. He's working on a massive castle, which I really like. So keep on that project, dude. I uh, hope I gave you some motivation, inspiration now. Uh, yeah, so many of you guys are actually doing really cool projects, and I just want to encourage you to to show them to me so that I also can be inspired by your builds. Because inspiration is often hard to find I think so uh, once you guys like leave me feedback or give me show me pictures of what you are working on it gives me a lot of inspiration so uh, oh crap yeah that reminds me we have updated I still have to remove that hot hot key swap thing once you <laughs> once you fly it's kind of annoying so I always used to take that away but we just updated uh, the conquest report thing so but we're gonna kind of doing something here I think this is cool and then what if we uh there we go you come to me here and then we do something like this perhaps I think that could look really nice I'm just kind of all over the place right now but that's looking cool and very nice uh, details on the side here and then maybe what we could do were to add a little bit of a chisel. Chisels are always nice, right? I think. And adding just some small chisel bits, stuff right like that all the way around, really just takes the build to the next level. In my opinion, of course. Uh, and these ones are also really nice, so maybe add some of those around here. If I do that, will they connect? They will. So let's... Yeah, let's use those for the bottom ones. Because, as you know, or some of you, most of you guys know, the church had a lot of power and a lot of money in the medieval ages. So, um, they would probably spend a lot of their money on doing stuff like this. Adding smaller details to the column supporting the walls, I suppose. Uh, so, we're gonna do that, just to get a little bit of a, more of an advanced rich feeling here, but I like it. And then let's fill in this wall here as well. Just to be kind of working on the whole tower in one piece, and then we'll kind of uh, put the rest of it together and kind of build all the parts together. Because, uh, yeah, I want to build the tower in one section, and then we're going to build the rest in another section, and then we could. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to remove this back a little bit, I think, actually. Well, I'm talking about it. Uh, I'll move this back a little bit. And then I want to build the rest for another section. And also what I want to do is to most likely do the interior as well for another episode. Because this is such a big build that the interior actually does matter here. Uh, for many of the other builds, I often do the interiors off camera. Because, yeah, you guys most likely won't really bother because yeah especially me I, I'm, I'm really just a fan of the outside of the exterior builds and stuff but sometimes of course it's cool with a little bit of a nice interior work but most often I crap switch back thank you and then you go here and set you to most often I do the interiors off camera just because it's easier for me to focus on them because it's hard to do and also many of you guys don't really seem to enjoy that but now we have a nice something going on here I like that and what we also could do were to kind of 
bring this inwards list and kind of make the tower thinner as we go towards the top. I think that could be really nice. So if we bring these up again, like that, and here as well, all the way around. Come on now, please. Thank you. And thank you, like that, and then I think we're gonna do it here as well. And then kind of tie it all together here. Also guys, if you haven't seen the Joycraft videos, please go over there and leave them the same love as you do to Kirkle, because it really deserves it. It's a mod pack uh, which me and a uh, group have created and yeah, I'm having so much fun there. And we put a lot of effort into building the pack itself and then I'm also putting, I'm putting more time into every single Joycraft video than I do for Kirkholm. Uh, probably as much as I do for the Let's Build the Castle series. So I would really appreciate if many of you guys went over there and gave me some love and some feedback. And, and of course, only if you enjoyed the video, keep watching it and kind of, yeah, keep watching the series. But of course, if you're not into that kind of Minecraft, if you're only in for the building, I understand you and I won't force you to go there. But I would really appreciate it if you at least gave it a chance, checked it out. I uh, would recommend you starting on the second episode because that's when the quality is good, I guess. Because the first one is we're a bunch of guys just derping around having a lot of fun, but the video quality isn't probably the best. Okay, we are definitely creating something here. Look on that side right there. That is beautiful. Uh, what are we going to do actually is um, get a little bit of glass in here and then... My PC is working like a, like a hero right now. <laughs> I can hear it. It's real. Holy crap. Okay, I know what I did wrong now. Great. Okay, we need to. Um... There we go. And then <laughs> I just. I used the wrong command here. Set zero, and then we're gonna get rid of all that. And then we're gonna clear that selection just for the sake our own pleasure here and then we're gonna put those in here and then we're gonna put in one of these like that you guys have told me to do that because uh, I look oh crap I hate the inventory swapping thing then another did I not do this correct now probably not well I think I think I did not completely anyway and uh, we can get to that later on and then another window right here that's the wrong one. There we go. You guys have told me to use this kind of a block on top instead of just using uh, like a stair. And uh, to me it actually looks a whole lot better as well. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you for uh, for uh, letting me know how to do this properly. Uh, let's do something crazy up here. Shall we? What if we do something like that? Okay, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I feel like we should do something. But I'm not sure what. We could do something like that. And then we could use some kind of detail for... Let's use this one, I guess. And then... Place you there, like that. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. And then you go there, you go there, and then you guys connect up in between there, like that. Yeah, that's cool. And then do the same over here, like so. Connect it all up nicely. And then, oh, I hate this inventory swapping. <laughs> I need to get that uh, fixed straight away after after the video here and then you go here another window up there I think that is cool to have a, like windows yeah that's super nice so this building will oh inventory again uh, this video well, it's not a video this building will be more more of a stony building than the rest of the buildings I think just because it's so big and it needs to be a lot massiver than the smaller one, so we're gonna go for a complete stone building. Yeah, that's cool. So this whole area here, as I've left this hole open here, and that is because I want to do a 
bigger window here. And uh, so we're gonna use this arch. We're gonna have a big rounded window. So we're gonna do something like that. A big round window. And then you will give us that block. And then we're gonna... Maybe something like that. Or we could go more fancy with uh, some other uh, shablangs and shablangs around here. Maybe we could uh, mix it up a little. That's always cool to mix it up. Uh, even a little bit of yellow perhaps. Like that. That's cool, right? Yeah. I, I like that. Uh, but for front here... I feel like it's a little, a little, uh, little, little heavy. No, <laughs> uh, it could be a little more, more uh, grand. I think. What we're going to do is kind of try to try to make it look more, more grand. Yeah, something like that, and then, yeah, maybe, maybe just do something very simple like this. Is that cool? I like that. I feel like there's something here we could change a little bit. Maybe change the parts here on the front sticking out. Yeah, that's that's doing different at least. And maybe put you in there instead, like so. I think that's cool. And uh, maybe also. Going up a little bit on the sides here, and then like that. No, uh, maybe like that instead. Yeah, that's cool. It's this minor detail here. Yeah, I think that's really, really, really nice. It's a really cool detailing happening and let's bring you down like that I suppose and then you up like that yeah I think that's cool yeah definitely definitely a cool design for this um, this church tower here and then we kind of need to narrow it down a little bit more I think before we start adding the top or at least making it a floor higher Let's make it another floor taller here. Uh, so we're gonna have two thick floors here. And then we're gonna one, two, three, four, maybe. And let's use the right command now. Walls four instead. And then we're gonna do like that. Yeah, I think that's just a good the way it is. Like just like that. And then can I bring those all the way up? I think I should. I hope you guys don't hear my computer. It's working like a champion right now. Um, I should maybe turn down... I'll, I'll have to see how the, the quality ends up being. But if the quality is more than good enough, I might have to tune it down a little bit. Just because I'm afraid that I might overdo my CPU. Uh, or if you guys have any ways of fixing that, but oh, wow, wow, uh, I'm impressing myself here a little bit with, uh, with the buildings here. This is really nice. Uh, put you here. But if you guys have... Okay, yeah, fair enough. If you guys have ways to fix this... No. Okay, okay, okay. Um, need to fix that like that. And like you, like so. And then you there. Two ways to fix it. Wow, I'm getting so distracted. Uh, let me know down below. I would love for you guys to help me out here. Because <laughs> I've tried everything. I've tried my uncle Google. He couldn't help me. I've been trying uh, YouTube, which is one of my closest friends. And also, uh, yeah, random stuff all the way around the internet. And no one has been able to help me with this. Yeah, but that's such a cool feature. Well, like it did. It's so plain, but still so detailed. 
think it's super cool. One thing I want to do though. Yes. Definitely. I like this idea here of just kind of variating a little bit. Okay, very nice. What if we uh, created this thing going around here like that again? Yeah, that's absolutely not too massive. Just like that. As simple as that, but that's actually a really nice detail. I like that. And let's do that all the way around as well. And also, as you, of course, you guys have uh, seen now, is that I, I didn't do this in a time lapse. I was talking about doing it in a time lapse because uh, it's such a big build. But you guys really wanted me to do it the old fashioned way. And I understand that because, yeah. It's easier to follow what I'm doing if I'm doing it slowly to get it with you. Okay. This building is almost my favorite so far uh, in Kirkholm. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. And now I think it's time for us to add a spire, which will be um, interesting to do. Before we start adding a little bit of randomization to this, at least I want to add in a little bit of a different stone texture to the cobblestone. Uh, something I always do to uh, to break some of the symmetry, some of the straight lines to yeah to make it look more worn down, more realistic, more medieval. So uh, we're gonna do that just as we're done with spire. But how is this for? Uh... That's not bad. I like that. And then what we can do is maybe okay. Uh... I'm doing something I wasn't really expecting to do, but we're gonna try. We're gonna see how it works out. Um, something like that, maybe even. And then uh, this one, or may oh maybe even that one, like that. Yeah, that's really cool. And uh, we'll have like spires, small spires or spikes on all the sides. I don't know if that's something they would do, but I think it would be cool. <laughs> Sometimes it's important in Minecraft to um, to forget about reality for a little bit, just a wee bit, just so that you can add the details that you want to have. Because there are so many cool details you can add, especially in mod packs like this. So you just have to remember that that you can you can pretty much do whatever you whatever you want here. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind while building. Yeah, hey, cool details, small small cool details on the top here. And there we go, something like that. And then uh, maybe just a wee bit of a detail here as well just something like that and then what I want to have is to add these ones along the sides here like so and then maybe like that yeah let's just do that and that and like so and the same over here I'm listening to uh, medieval music right now and if you're interested in building yourself that really helps me out to get in the mood and uh, yeah medieval mood it's just listening to medieval music it's such uh, a good inspirational source because you you kind of get the vibe even though you never yeah I, I'm pretty sure no one of you guys have ever been in the medieval ages <laughs> uh, but if you want to like and listen to stuff like this you really get a cool you get a vibe because you've seen movies and yeah you kind of get the feeling okay that's cool and now it's time for us to add the spire we're gonna use this one and then we're gonna go all in here I guess I would also like to add a little bit of a dormer like four dormers to this spire here but we'll have to see how much space we have uh, when we're done 
you're gonna do something like this and then all the way up like that and we kind of have to see how steep we want this to go we could go in with that one to go I think that oh I don't think that's steep enough for my taste now that's definitely not steep enough so we have to do a little trick here uh, and um, that's tricky to do I think let's see now maybe you know I'm professional Minecraft and all that jazz oh uh, wow I'm fooling myself here a little bit let's see now we can do that and then if we place those on top because what we're doing now we're kind of creating an illusion that we're going up one and a half block and in the half block instead of going in uh, a half block and up a block so we're kind of creating a small illusion here I've been using that a lot while building Italian in the past because Italian roofs are really really not that steep so uh, using a flat roof bad using slabs too steep so by using a technique of using stairs and slabs combined you get like this mix and it works and yes that's a perfect step steepity step I don't know <laughs> some words are really hard once when you're in Norwegian to uh, to make sound good you know but anyway and then you go up here as well no there I said and then we're gonna have you on top of that and then maybe like a weather vein on top of that maybe go even inner on the top then one of those because that kind of makes sense I guess why is there a pig here how did you get here pig have you escaped I don't know um, it makes sense because that's the tallest building around here that would be the most accurate wind measurement they had but dude I like that I like that a lot that's a cool really 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 cool uh, tower here I'm so satisfied hope you guys enjoyed it as well and now we're gonna we're gonna go advance we're gonna add stuff we're gonna add uh, some dirty cobblestone normal stone and old cobblestone uh, into the mix so let's use some magic One, da, da. and then we can use brush sphere um, and then we have of course four we're gonna have a yeah mostly four and normal one and then two eighteen eleven and two 18 8 all right and then crap yeah there's one too many slashes and then mask that to four now what we can do we can kind of just do like this and it will mix in the blocks that we've chosen it to mix in and we don't have to place any more blocks we can just go ahead and use the magic that we have created ourselves and we will have a nice pattern and uh, looking more realistic than just yeah doing it the old-fashioned way normal cobblestone we can do something like that and it will look super nice in the end like that just to, like small touches to um, to make the whole thing come alive and then we're gonna add a little bit of cracked stone into the mix here as well like so maybe somewhere because it, it might be an old building it's medieval you know I'm gonna add a little bit of crack here and there of course not too much because we don't want this building to to fall all right we want this building to be staying for the rest of Kirkholm series it would be a shame if it broke down uh, just a little bit around here yeah that's cool very nice small cool details uh, let's just to create a little bit of depth I'm gonna place those in the cross sections like this and then we might want to do we're not gonna do it on the back there maybe something here on the bottom uh, we 
could use some of these a little bit up here. I think that's cool. I like that idea of you doing that. Uh, we need to take it further up though, like that maybe. Or is it cool if you just pass this thing? Yeah, I think it's alright. Um, then we're gonna just add a little bit of steerage down here like that. Of course we're gonna terraform the landscape around this to make it fit. But then we're gonna do something like that. And then maybe mix this up a little bit just so we have a nice transition here, you know. I like to do that and do something like that and something like that mix it up a little bit very nice indeed all right guys uh, one final thing to do before I leave you guys for now and leaving you hanging for the next episode let's add a door in here shall we could we yeah let's do that back here uh, of course there's no door which would fit in this gap, uh, they're all too small, so we just have to improvise using something like that for a door. We could all... no, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, I have an idea here. Help me. We can use this one, and then this one. Perfecto! Mundo! Nice, very nice, and also uh, churches, as I've said, use a lot of money on details, so why don't we detail this baby up a little bit. But you can... oh yeah, you create something nice once you're connected. But maybe not, maybe... Do something like that. And then we're gonna have... Like, um, a hook. Do we use a trapper hook? Or maybe just use a button? I know there's like a brass button, maybe that would be nice. For that, and then... Yeah, okay, that works. And we will not be able to open this door, unfortunately. But at least it looks good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, be sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigaman, and I'm out.